Okay, this is part two of the potential murder of Diamond. Now, why did I say she was potentially murdered? Look, let's just separate your mind from your biases and whatnot right now. Okay, just for a quick minute. If you notice, there's been too many people that are representative of certain ideals in society. If you look at it, these people are being killed. Now, uh, none of these people are really murderers and stuff like that. Uh, bigots and, and and for the record, you know, people on the left, right? The political left, they hate Donald Trump and they use January 6th as a, uh, you know, just this big event. That was a Trump financier who was just found guilty of actions related to January 6th. This guy got five, uh, five months in jail. And I think the five months are suspended. So when, whenever they're doing stuff like that, you know, they're going to have to distract you with so many different things. All right. Because uh, we argue over dumb stuff. And what we're not noticing is this highly influential people that are popular are being killed. And none of these people are being killed. They're being jailed. Or either they're being deplatformed and slandered uh, to oblivion. Uh, Diamond is just, uh, it, it, in a sense, she reminds me of this guy, Andrew Tate. They just aren't going to kill him, but he's uberly popular, even though I think that there are some potential things that are up with him also. But as of right now, he's uberly popular even though, like I said, uh, he's very suspicious to me right now, but he's popular. And if you look at the other guy who preceded him, Kevin Samuels, dead, conveniently dead. And you notice how these black people are dying in just their 50s, their early to mid 50s. And then you notice that they tend to die at the height of the point in their life at which they became most popular. It's like they so conveniently die. Like, wow, how, you know, how so convenient for a person who has such controversial views that you just die, that you just perish and that you're just not there anymore. And it's not just Diamond. You have to look at the whole operation, people. Fox News is just part of the deep state. And part of the reason why I said what I said in video part one, that God did not create news media on the eighth day, which does not exist. Fox News is owned by Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch is in the bed with the, the Rothschilds and some of everybody. And they're not conservative. They're divisive. They're not conservative. They're divisive. That's their purpose to be divisive, socially divisive. They're literally ran by exterior foreign entities they're not even american fox is not even american rudy giuliani's son wanted to run for new york governor of new york or something like that right fox news wouldn't even platform him and here's the big thing that uh diamond was saying before she passed that the black people on fox were not allowed the black conservatives aren't allowed to say the same thing the white ones are we're repeating word for word quite often, much of the exact same stuff that they're uh, repeating. But we get condemned for it. See, that's what I was saying in part one about the conservative aspect of it. They don't care anything for black conservatism. They only care about black people who validate very bigoted, racist, white viewpoints. You and your conservatism can suck a dick, to, you know, to be honest with you. In the eyes of most white people, it's cool and it's morally good that you're that way, but they don't really care. Because like I say, in part one, your children got to compete with theirs. But with this diamond lady, when it comes to black people, look, they'll just kill off black people. They'll just murder off black people. They'll just get rid of them. I do not think that this, you know, this lady who all the way up until the point that she died and see what she was doing is she was revealing something. See, there's a little bit of awakening up that's happening because there's another black woman on YouTube right now and she's been a lifelong Democrat uh, supporter or whatnot. But she who has a big following, she's going to be a problem 
because she was a fanatical pro Joe Biden fan. But even she sees this stuff that's going on right now. And she has totally flipped. Anybody that's a Democrat could do what she's doing and just admit the party is rotten. It's no good. They don't care anything about nothing whatsoever that they campaign on. You even have a guy down there in Florida who used the Palestinians to get elected and then turn right around immediately and threw his middle finger up and say, fuck y'all and left them Palestinians in the dirt, in the dirt and in the dust. You know, that's how they do nowadays. And see, it's to the point that they can't conceal how they do. And this black woman on YouTube, who's this what used to be leftist. But now I guess you guess you could say she's in the middle, but she's just exposing how the quad or the squad, whoever they were. And how they're disingenuous, they're pro war, how Joe Biden didn't do anything for the railroad workers how everything every democrat principle is just being betrayed right now um and she's a black woman and like i say black women certain uh, black women are supposed to fit a certain social narrative diamond did not fit enough of a social narrative this black woman that's on youtube right now she's not fitting enough of a social narrative you're supposed to be pro gay supporting democrat that believes that 80 percent of the white people in the country are racist and that you are a perpetual victim that always concentrates on the things that are done wrong unto black people for the sole purpose of blaming white people. But that's not what she is. She's more off holding the Democrats accountable. She may create a big giant swing in black females that eliminates that blind thing that black people do just by going up there and voting against racism. You get what I'm saying? These narratives don't line up. Diamond ultimately does not line up with the narratives. Just look at Fox. Just look at it. They don't have any type of serious black conservatives on there. The same news channel that, like I said, allows politicians to win elections and broadcast and campaign anti-gay like in 2004 George Bush got reelected on an anti-gay platform and several politicians campaign on going against the woke going against the, the drag queen hour teaching the children and all that going against anti-gay marriage and all that stuff you know well going against gay marriage and, and, and stuff like that but then on the exact same channel, this dude, Rupert Murdoch, wasn't even smart enough to just start a black channel associated with celebrity junk. No, he turned around and called it Fox News Soul, and he has nothing over there but clowns. There's no political conversation that goes on. Fox News Soul is like a TMZ. That's it. It's just celebrity stuff. They'll spend more time talking about random individuals on the Internet than what they will ever dare. There has not been one single serious politician that has went to Fox News Soul and sat down and had a conversation with any of the hosts. But yet actors, rappers, athletes, random people from the Internet, they're able to go on to there. So they don't want black people having any type of serious social political engagement and if you look at somebody such as diamond the old fart in the room she's just not part of the narrative anymore they only needed those two for a short narrative and their popularity has maintained itself for quite a while and i believe that she needed to be put away she didn't display any signs of sickness or anything of that uh, from what i'm reading but she needed to be put away. She needed to be put away. To me, this stuff is just too convenient. And she's not the only one. She's not the only one. It's too many people. It's too many politicians. It's too many actors. It's too many in general. If you think about it, you only need to be a popular person on the Internet to be done away with. Freedom of speech is dead in this country. Stay tuned for part three.